Welcome to Treetop Manny 2014 in association with the Crees Foundation. My name's Andrew Whitworth and that's me there. I'm a research biologist and I work as the research manager for the Crees Foundation. And I'm setting up some of our camera traps up in the trees and coming back a few months later. And this little video is to show you a little bit about what we found this year in 2014. And first of all, I want to talk about these little brown capuchin monkeys. So quite a common primate out in South America, very intelligent. And you can see them using that branch there as an arboreal highway to move from one tree to another. But we also got some really rare primates, these Saki monkeys. And I've never seen these guys in six years of working in tropical forest. But our cameras not only detected them once, but on a number of occasions using this beautiful big Shiwawako tree, a very old tree. But in that tree, we also find other species of primate that are using it too. So here we've got another species of capuchin. This is the white-fronted capuchin, a very vocal, sort of aggressive little species. And they're fantastic. So they're sharing this tree and using these same highways um, across different species. We also got the beautiful red howler monkeys, and you'll see this wonderful little family of uh, howlers with the little juvenile just coming in at the back there, following through. And you can see those prehensile tails, they're having a sniff around at something in this uh, aguano tree. We got red howlers in a number of places, and you can see this guy here sort of wanting to call, but not really making a lot of sound. And that might be uh, as a result of some of the hunting that was going on at this site where these primates are trying to not attract any attention to themselves, so they kind of change their behavior a little bit. Now, this isn't an arboreal animal at all. It's one of our field assistants, this is Thomas, who we uh, actually taught to do some of the climbing this year, and you can see him struggling to sort of open the camera whilst he's dangling around in the tree at like 20 meters there. Now this endangered primate, this is the black-faced spider monkey. Now this is the biggest primate in Manu and you can see this huge kapok or sabre tree, giant sabre, really dwarfs them and makes them look tiny but they're actually a really big primate and you can see these females there huddling together, very tactile with one another. And then this wonderful video you'll see in the little bottom right hand corner, there's a tiny little baby there and he's following his family and he's a little bit nervous in the trees still, you can see he wants to cross over to that branch and whoop, there he goes, really, really nervously. More baby primates as well with these Jeffroy's woolly monkeys and this is again an endangered species of primate from Manu and they're feeding in this beautiful fruit and tree, this sapote and both these females have got babies there and they, we don't know a great deal about this species of primate in the wild so all of this information including them sort of hanging there calling from the mid canopy and foraging around in, in the mid canopy as well as the high canopy has given us new information about these primates and it's, it's really quite exciting to, to find out more about their lives especially when we're not actually present and sort of chasing them around and looking at them. So our trail cameras keep working and we've got footage of primates on the ground as well. So these tiny little saddleback tamarinds which live in family groups feeding on these fruits that have fallen from the trees right down onto the forest floor. And it's absolutely incredible. Then we've got our general sort of big animals that we see on the trails like these huge pumas. And this guy's rolling around in a scent um, spot where different males are coming along and sort of spraying and marking their territories. Now this was really incredible. A really elusive uh, species of dog. And you can see him sort of marking his territory there, this little shorted dog, fantastic video that we got. And the native community of Shipateri uh, are these wonderful Machigenga people who are very open to, to us coming and putting cameras on their land and they love to see the footage and the videos that's actually collected. And they feel very proud then to see all the animals that are, there, are in their forest. Now we go on to some of our noctur nocturnal species. So this is a really sort of cryptic animal called the Kinkajou. And we don't know a great deal about their lifestyle, but what we did find that these cameras were really good for finding these kinkajous, and they actually existed in over 50% of the trees where we had cameras. So it's a really good way to study these kinkajous. We also found some real other cryptic species like this bicolor spined porcupine, and we actually found different individuals using the same tree. So you can see the second individual much, much smaller, but he's, he's still within that tree. So maybe they're living in little family groups there. But the, the, the most exciting thing for me this year in 2014 was this pygmy anteater. And we actually got this at our regenerating forest site that's never been detected there in 10 years. And we got them on more than one occasion. 
So for me, that was an absolute winner to get the Silky Pygmy Anteater. And I just want to say thank you to all the wonderful sponsors that have been involved in the pilot work we've been doing for Treetop Manu over the last two or three years. And fingers crossed we're going to keep plugging away in 2015 with some more great support and some fantastic results later on this year.